Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday today and that means it's time to catch up on everything that is new on Star Stables this week. As most of you probably know by now, Star Stable released a new breed of horses into the game on Wednesday's update and these horses are the Marwari. There are 4 coats out so far and today I am going to buy one of the brand new Marwari horses and I've watched the teaser trailer and they look really really cool. I am really excited to see them. I will also show you all the gates and special movements and check the global store because I know there are 4 new bridles that you can buy and I can't wait to see how they look on the new horses. In this video I will also check the new race at Golden Leaf Stables because I've been a very bad girl and I haven't tried that race yet so yeah that's what I'll be doing today so without further ado let's get started. The first Mawari that I want to see is right here at Fort Pinta and this is the liver chestnut coat. The Mawari horses are descendants from India and they are known all over the world for their ears. If you see over here they are curved and almost meet each other above its head. Their coats have this metallic look and they are very shiny just like the Akalteke horses. You can buy the liver chestnut horse at level 1 for 950 star coins, only this one at Fort Pinta though, the rest has a higher level restriction. And these Marwari horses have a special movement when you click space bar, they will perform a bow. I cannot wait to see that happen, so I really want to go ahead and buy my horse. It's not this one though, so let's get over to the Golden Leaf Stables. So at the Golden Leaf Stables you will find 3 more horses, these you can buy at level 12 by 950 star coins just like the other one. The first one is the leopard coat and I have to say I was hoping he would have more spots all around him. It does have a few spots around the eyes which looks pretty cool. It's not my favorite coat but still great and I love the blending at the front. The second coat is the Cherry Bay and so far my favorite. I love the blending and the shine on the coat and the muzzle definition is great. You can see it very clearly over here and to me details like this are very important and I am also happy to see that the front legs have white markings while the back legs are black. And the mark on her face also looks great. This cherry color with the white marks has an amazing contrast effect and this is just all amazing. And the last Marwari is the Suti Palomino with a badger face. So the face mark looks so adorable but I don't really like the coat color of this one. Usually I love Palominos, I do love Palominos but in this case the tone looks much darker than I'm used to and I would prefer if it was more vibrant or clear at least if you know what I mean. <laughs> you probably have a different opinion from me, this is just me. It's still very pretty though, the white marks on all legs and the white mane and the tail looks really sweet and if you like it then go for it because it's still a very really cool coat. Ok so I decided to buy the Cherry Bay because like I said he is my favorite. I am sure the next patch of coats will come very soon, I'd say in 2-3 to three weeks and one of them will probably go to the app so keep an eye out for that. Honestly I was in doubt if I was going to buy one of the horses today because I was thinking about waiting for all the coats to be released and then choose one but I am really happy with the Cherry Bay to be honest, I really am. So here we go. And here he is and I named him Cherry Storm. Before I have a look at the gates, I want to see the jeweled bridles that were specially made for the Marwari. And there are 4 different colors and you can buy them at the global store or right here at the Golden Leaf Stables. The first one is a Golden Marwari decoration and the detail looks great. They all cost the same. 90 star coins or 9k chilling, so the stats must all be the same. And we have free strength and free swiftness, and the level restriction is 12, just like the free horses being sold at the Golden Leaf Stables. The second is a silver bridle, and just like the first one, looks really cool on the horse. The third one is a white halter with purple decorations, and doesn't that look great with the gear I have on? It's such a pretty bridle. And the last is a gold and red bridle. 
Now when I saw this on the teaser, I thought this is the one I want to buy. But after having a look at my wardrobe, I had to change my mind because I have nothing that matched the bridal and I like to match outfits as much as I can. So what I'm going to buy today is the purple bridal because it looks very pretty with my gear and that's the one that I'm going to buy today. I honestly hope they add more of these bridles, maybe with other color gems. I would like to see gems in blue for example, I love the color blue. And green, like a white bridle with green gems, like you know that emerald color, that would be so pretty. So I really hope they add more bridles in the future. So far we only have bridles, but imagine having the full tack like this, it would look so cool and I do hope they add more to complete the set to be honest, because it looks amazing. And of course I also hope they add some different gear for us, uh, the riders, you know, your character, so that we can match the bridles of the horses. So hopefully we will have saddles, saddle pads and maybe some really cool gear for us as well. By the way guys, these bridles can only be used by the Marwaris for now and I think this means the Star Stable team will work on this and in the future we will be able to use them on other horses as well. So we'll see. Okay, so time to check the gates. This special movement is the bow and let me tell you, this is so graceful. The movement is so smooth when it bows and when it gets back to its normal position. Everything about this is perfect and I don't regret buying this horse, it's really really pretty. All the movements are really well done, although I've seen some people complaining about how they canter. I don't know, I don't see nothing wrong about it, but if you do have an opinion on that, let me know in the comments. Okay, since I'm here, I am going to have a look at the new race here because 
Like I said, I haven't done this yet, so let's see what it says. Hi Alessia, are you ready for a new challenge? The Golden Leaf Gauntlet combines a cross country with a dash of show jumping. I was inspired by Sonja's accounts of competing in hunter races in England and Sweden and thought we should have a race like this here at the Golden Leaf Stables. You and Sherry Storm should give it a try. Okay, so let's have a look at this new race. to go and knock the last pole down figures so interesting race the fact that they put together cross country with show jumping i actually had to google and i found out about the three day eventing or also called horse trials uh, and that includes dressage cross country and show jumping but from what i understand they are not all together in the same race it's an event that can be completed in just one day also known as ode or in three days, also called 3DE. Sounds to me like this is very challenging because it requires mastery on several types of riding, so I believe that both the rider and the horse have to be at their best to be able to compete here. So yeah, it was very interesting to read the article. But yeah, nothing bad to say about this race. Uh, you guys that probably have horses and you do ride in real life, do let me know your opinion because I'm sure you will have more to say about it. And that's it for today's video. For those of you that are still following my story quest, I will post a new video next week. And the good news is, I finally have Concord with me. So hopefully, Anne will be next. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you like my content, give me a like and maybe tell your friends about me. Have a nice weekend and I will see you soon, riders!